It's 2024 and analog gear is getting cooler and cooler. What we have here today is FT1 Freck Tube by Freakport. This thing is one of the most fun thing I got to play recently. What we have here is a compact analog saturator with real tubes in it that connects directly to your computer. So no extra converters added because it has on board 32-bit ADDA converters. And of course, it's digitally controlled. Let's take a look and a listen to Freak Tube. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpest TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for free plugins, special discounts and offers, and of course, link to FreakTube. Also check out Bella Kelly's new single, Goodbye, out now. And if you haven't already, go to the new website, mixbestv.com. In there, you can find all the mix and mastering courses available on many different genres, start to finish. On the website, you can also book all the other services, mixing, mastering, private lessons, mix consultations, and a lot more. And if you wanna access the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button, become a Mixbus TV member. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. I wasn't joking, FreakTube FT1 by Freakport is such a fun box to use and it sounds pretty great. This little but powerful tube saturator is perfect. Whether you have an extended hybrid analog system like me, you don't have to add extra channels, you connect it like I did via USB cable directly to your computer and it's ready to go in the same way and arguably even better if you're running your studio off a laptop or a small all-in-the-box setup at home this thing is for you it's portable it's sturdy this is all metal enclosure real tubes inside you can see them glowing right now we have a pair of 1287 tubes the first two and a pair of 12 ax7 tubes all of them are factory calibrated and matched and shielded we have a assignable metal shaft control knobs the full color high resolution display shows track name and control assignment and of course this is two-way communication with the plugin that you see on the screen and you can also see that if i turn the drive knob from the plugin the control becomes dark gray in the center that means it's not latched to the physical control but if i turn it now it becomes full color and that means that it's latched to the physical control you can customize colors on the display so for example i want to change it to yellow you can see the color change in the plugin the color change also in the physical interface green whatever color you want that's pretty cool here's a zoom on the display so you can see is really high quality and you can see the colors and like i said if i do this and i move the knobs from the plugin they will become dark gray in the middle and then i touch the control and then you know that the control is latched to it of course all the knobs are assignable and right now i'm running two instances of the plugin so i can use and blend all four tubes for the tracks that i was working on and when you use it this way it automatically maps a drive harmonics mix and output gain for both pair of tubes but if we close one you can see that these four knobs are now available so i can assign them to anything for example we have a primary filter here i just click on whatever control i want to assign and it's that easy you can see now i can control everything about my filter i have here the eq gain i have my q and i have the frequency so it's pretty awesome and as for right now we don't have an aax plugin but i'm running it without any issue through the patchwork and you can see here on the gui we have a primary filter 
with frequency Q and gain and different slopes. If we use high pass or low pass filters, we have notches. We have a parallel filter with the same control, a drive knob here in the middle, a plus 18 to increase the saturation. And then we have the harmonic control and you can see this one changes the character of the saturation. We have a mix knob, an invert phase. This inverts the phase of the parallel filter. We have an output slider, a bypass button down here, and also something very cool. If we click on the gear icon at the top, we have two different modes, a maximum headroom. It gives you all the swing and the range that tubes can have, or a mix overdrive to increase the analog saturation if you want. There are two ways to use this saturator. You can either open two instances of the plugin on two different tracks, as I did right now, and you use the first pair of tubes, which are a little more aggressive and saturated compared to the 12A T7, which are slightly more mellow and with a little more headroom, or you can use two instances on the same track and you can decide how much of each one you wanna use on each track. You can even turn off the tubes. Let's say you only wanna use the 12 87s or the other way around, you only wanna use the E83CCs or both of them. And of course, as you can see, you can also use it on four different single mono tracks. I've been playing with this thing for about a week and a half and I had the most fun. This thing sounds awesome. It's got a really wide range of sounds and saturation from super subtle to over the top. The conversion is really good. The software is extremely stable. I had zero problems with it. Some people were asking if I was experiencing click and pops, zero. It runs super smooth. I had no problems. Installation was probably two minutes. You plug it straight USB into your laptop, into your desktop computer, and you are literally ready to go. Also, one cool thing that I want to show you is the FreakTube Hub. This is the software that controls, for example, the buffer, and also it tells you, check this out, the status of all four tubes, if they are, of course, okay. Like in this case, you have low latency mode. By the way, the converter supports up to 192 kilohertz, 32 bit. Well, I guess without further ado, let's hear the freak tube in action, shall we? I'm gonna first use only the drive and show you the difference in sound and character and saturation between the two different tubes. All right, besides the fact that it already sounds awesome, I love how it sounds. Uh, for the most part, for sounds like this, when they are really exposed, we are not talking about like parallel drum or a parallel vocal. The T7s have a more natural, I wanna say kind of musical character to them. It, it's almost like it's part of the sound, while the CCs have a more pronounced type of saturation. Both are great. The fact that you have so much versatility in such a little tiny box, it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, so you hear how different the character is when we play with the harmonic control for the CCs versus the T7s. Both can go to extreme distortion and almost beat crushing effect, which is really cool. And the range that you have to create subtle enhancement, just a hint of tube down to nasty, dirty distortion is pretty impressive. I really love this box, it's so fun to use. Let's try some other material.
such a nice color, such a nice type of saturation. That is very cool and actually the EQ sounds very good. You heard that top end, how it opened up the drum, but the fact that you can combine these two pair of slightly different tubes, it's really so much fun. And I'm not using the uh, parallel filter that much right now, but especially for EDM music, you can of course automate each and every knob and parameter of the plugins and it will write automation and will playback automation you can automate crazy filter and make it dirty as the filter going you can automate multiple parameter it's really really cool It sounds great, I love the T7s because it, it really feels like part of the sound. It doesn't feel like there's a processing going on and even the filter sounds extremely natural. You heard I could beef up this guitar loop and it was sounding very, very natural. Let's try some piano. So in this case with the piano, I cut out the extra low end and added a little bit of presence in parallel, which sounds really natural. So probably space compensated is safe to assume. Let's try some electronic loop.
sounds really really cool even if you push the CC is almost all the way up. It still sounds good. It doesn't get to the nasty distortion. That's the magic of real tubes. One thing that I haven't tried is the plus 18. Let's see what happens. It sounds pretty cool, pretty grunty. There's really nothing else like real tubes on a bass. Let's go to the T7s. It sounds great, there's nothing to add, but it's so fun to use because you have such a wide range that it's just cool to play with it. And hear all the nuances as you turn the knob and the different character and the different combination when you start combining them. Let's find a vocal. You make it hard, I wanna stop and stare. Behind those eyes, what else you got in there? Cause you make me feel like I should learn to stop time. I will give you this life that I'm in If you show me the other side I stand outside in the rain I take the physical pain At the end of the day The girls would I want that's a lovely saturation. Let's go with the CCs. You make it hard, I wanna stop and stare. Behind those eyes, what else you got in there? Cause you make me feel like I should learn to stop time. I will give you this life that I'm in. If you show me the other side. I stand outside in the rain I take the physical pain At the end of the day The girls would I want Very cool, very cool that you have two filters so if it gets a little too boomy, a little too stuffy in the low mids, you can open it up and correct it and as you saw earlier you can control the EQ with this other part if you're not using uh, both instances at the same time and I know some of you guys wanted to hear this on a full mix so we are gonna try just that I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like I'm still the same down guy same down vibes I know that you heard this I deserve this after what the hurt did it don't turn out perfect I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like I'm still the same down guy same down vibes I know that you heard this I deserve this after what the hurt did it don't turn out perfect I told you I'd make it but all you had shown me was down you told me it's useless just give up and throw in the they see my potential, I thought you'd be holding me down But sometimes a king come from nothing, we don't need a crown Yeah, I got everything I ever could've asked for Truthfully, it's all the things I would've needed cash for Like automated lane assist up in my dashboard Or all this drip that got me flying in my passport I still remember times I came in last more They ain't believe in me when I was that poor When I was seeing things and I was mad more I was drowning in my demons, you found me in a deep end You saw me barely breathing and laughed without a reason 
can't help but feel like it was treason But now that you see me peeking, I hope you know that we I'm even I'm just tryna sound like, what real sound like I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes I know that you heard this, I deserve this After what the hurt did, it done turned out perfect I'm just tryna sound like, what real sound like I'm still the same down guy this, uh, the, the CCs are <laughs> really nice on this one. Uh, yeah, totally. I don't see why not you couldn't use it on, uh, on a mix. Definitely have to be conservative. Definitely you have to have a, a monitoring system that can trust, meaning it has to expose any type of nasty distortion that you could possibly get. Although, unless I pushed beyond oblivion, these things have a, a lot of headroom. They, they just add harmonics extremely musical i really love this thing let's try it on one of your favorites here Nice. You heard how for the hip hop mix, the CCs were adding that very fitting, great and character. While for this track, more mellow, the T7s are just the perfect type of color. The applications are infinite, really. Plus, you can automate everything. You can control everything from the plugin if you don't want to touch the unit or vice versa. You need no extra converters. You plug it in with this USB cable and you're ready to go. Such a cool box. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment down below. This was FreakTube FT1 by Freakport. This thing looks cool with the glowing tubes and the high-res display. It sounds even better. The link is going to be in the info box down below. I think it's going to be a great addiction for many of you guys out there. But let me know what you think. Leave them in the comments down below. I hope the video was helpful. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave a like. Check out Bella's new single Goodbye out now on all platform and with a lyric video here on YouTube. Go to the new website mixbustv.com for all the mix and mastering courses. By the way, a new one is coming in a couple of weeks. Click the join button become a mix best tv member to access all the exclusive videos here on youtube grab some merch or use the super thanks if you want to support the channel thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already stay safe see you next time hands on my neck hands get my throat, throat. lift me up